I'm Jean Warren. I'm a real estate agent with Coldwell Banker Preferred Properties here in Richfield. Come on, I'll show you around. If you were to ask me what a real estate agent does, I'd tell you that I represent sellers and buyers in the marketplace, people who either want to sell their property or who want to buy property in our Richfield area. Real estate was a natural choice for me. My husband is a real estate broker and has owned his own real estate business. His business was growing so fast, he soon found he needed an associate. So it has proved to be an exciting challenge and a rewarding experience for me over the last 25 years. If you are thinking of a career, you might consider real estate if you like to meet and talk with people, if you consider yourself to be a good listener, if you believe your income should be equal to the effort you invest, and that means sometimes 60-hour work weeks, if you don't mind unusual hours that change with your clients' needs, if you don't mind rejection, there's plenty of that in this business. If you're dedicated to doing a good job, putting your clients' needs above your own. If you can incorporate these characteristics into your personality, real estate may be a really good fit for you. To apply for a license in the state of Utah, you must be 18 years of age and have successfully completed an education program of 90 classroom hours in real estate principles and practices, a little math, and, and Utah real estate license law. Once you've received your license, you must place that license with a broker. You can expect to spend about $3,000 for education, for joining a broker and a multiple listing service, and for paying some of the startup expenses that go with the business. Any commission earned on the sale of properties is paid to the broker, who then pays you as an agent a portion of that commission that the brokerage receives, less monthly expenses. Most people have no idea what the, addition, what the costs are to the brokerage and then what the additional costs are to the agent. The average public just sees the commission and amount and thinks, wow, that's a lot of money. You know, if you really want to know what a real estate agent does, why don't you come along with me and I'll show you what I do on a typical day in the business of real estate. While we're in the office, I'll check our email and any messages that have come in. Being comfortable with a computer and using email proficiently is pretty critical. I email property information to someone nearly every day. I often email documents to clients who didn't want to make a decision too quickly, so they went home to think about what I've shown them. By the time they get back to California or wherever they live, they've talked it over thoroughly and they're ready to make an offer and they're there and I'm here, so email is an important part of my business. We need to download any new listings that have come onto the multiple listing service and see what new listings have come available on the market. We also need to finish up a market opinion for a seller that has asked me to give them an opinion as to what their home may sell for in the current marketplace. Studying the marketplace is an absolute must in this business. A well-prepared seller deserves to get every penny possible out of the market. We'll look at what is sold and what properties are listed that may be competition for our seller. We'll also include some good helps for the seller, tips that will help their home shine out in the marketplace. Sellers don't always appreciate the fact that a real estate transaction requires legal contracts, and how you write them and what you write will determine whether you have a successful sale and a happy buyer or whether you end up in an, in an attorney's office. Everything should be in writing, clear and understandable and yes, very legible. A seller's market always produces for sale by owners and more often than you think results in losses. Any perceived savings of commission can easily be eaten up in legal fees. When we deliver the market opinion, We'll be testing our skills at helping the sellers understand the value of using a real estate agent. 
Instead of trying to sell their property on their own, that's an interesting challenge when the market is busy and sellers are getting lots of interest from prospective buyers. Let's go take some extra photos of a home. Good photos that show off the property's features are a must. Besides, another walkthrough of the home will help us to complete a good write-up for our own personal website. Lots of potential buyers check our site often. Our properties really do sell well, and I know our website is an important part of our success. We need to go to the courthouse and verify the year built and the lot size of one of our new listings. The original property owners passed away and the children are selling the home. That means that all titled owners must be in agreement with the listed price and terms and what stays with the property and what does not. A visit to the title company is on our list today. We'll order a preliminary title report from a title company to verify those titled owners of record. We have several good title companies here in Richfield. I always ask the seller if they have used one in the past or if they have a preference. We're going to also order a water search. Irrigation shares are also included with the property. Those certificates need to be located and the ownership verified and we need to make sure that they have not been used as collateral for a loan somewhere. Now we're ready to plan out a market promotion for a wonderful new listing that we put on the MLS yesterday. It's a wonderful home. The sellers have taken all of our advice and prepared the home well for the market. And we are going to aggressively promote it. If I were to give any tips to someone thinking about real estate as a career, I would say, be enthusiastic, be thorough, be accurate, be a good listener, develop some computer skills, and get a good webmaster that will promote both you and your seller's property on the internet. Be willing to learn the market so you can educate your client, whether it's a buyer or a seller. That education will prepare them to make the best decision possible in their particular situation. Real estate is a demanding, full-time occupation. Long days, crazy hours, bewildered buyers, anxious sellers. A lot of people depend on you to represent them. So take the time to learn to do it right. And have fun. Well, I'm off to meet a client. Good luck to you in choosing a career that will be satisfying and rewarding to you. And I'll see you later. And oh! By the way, if you need a good real estate agent, you know who you can see for a home. Have a great day.